what's up guys drew drew does trucks check this out i just picked this up um i guess i'll go ahead and say it pay 500 for this 79 f 150 two wheel drive 300 straight six c4 automatic um kind of an unusual drive train for these you just don't see that very often most of the 300 seem like there's four speeds for some reason this came with this cool set of slots it's got four of them and then uh, he had a i can see a flat tire in this back so has a whole set of uh four steelies too there's a whole bunch of this like junky wet mud dirt in the bed uh the bed definitely got some pinholes in it need to get that cleaned out asap but that would need it i mean i need to move this somewhere i can dump that stuff I'm not putting it in the driveway i don't think there is a single straight panel on this truck um definitely looks like you had some roof leaks here just smeared bondo over them obviously not the right way to fix them um somebody's like bending riveting these sheet metal pieces and then bondoing over it again just you know people just trying to do what they can and they don't know how to do body work um this truck i suspect with all the chrome trim originally would have had most likely a chrome rear bumper who knows um this one's been spray painted gray they did not mask off the uh the <laughs> sheet metal here very well as you can see it's gray too all around um tailgate not currently opening um i think the rods aren't connected to the handle this back tire was flat i put air and it looks like it's leaking down again big dent in the bed kind of a bummer um other than that you know it's got minor damage get the bottom of the door rusted out but of course they sell the the door bottoms you just weld those on the skin fender has some like light surface rust and uh a little ding here that could be fixed hood's in decent shape grill just various little dings um it's got some trim pieces that are like busted and uh kind of screwed in there but i mean it doesn't look bad it's like a 30 foot truck but overall i mean 500 bucks you couldn't complain it runs and drives no brakes at all it had some brakes when i got it no brakes now almost certainly has a busted line not sure what is going on with the straw inside we need to bust the shop back out but check this seat out seats real nice somebody had replaced this carpet it's like this really thick backed carpet um the way it molds to the floor i'm thinking they ordered that out of a catalog for this truck um nice new this is a re, uh, reproduction door panel with padded armrest and he said there was another one in behind the seat you can see it poking out right there um like the wood steering wheel the ford center i mean it looks nice alpine cd player just a nice looking truck needs a dash pad looks like the mirror needs glued back on <laughs> i guess this is what was being used for an air filter here i'll pop the hood and show you what's underneath the hood uh like i said he said that he he had bought this a couple years ago and tried to fix it up oh hinges are stiff they need lubed here is the famous 300 straight six if Ford made a more reliable engine than I don't know about it, that's for sure. Um, someone has a pencil shoved down in here for some reason. I guess that's to crack the, I don't know if that's to push the float, maybe he's having float problems. Probably needs a carb rebuild. The exhaust is disconnected right there at the manifold. So, um, Greasy, but functioning. My plans for the truck um, would have really liked to uh, just get this thing to driving condition, especially with this kind of nice interior in it and the automatic. Um, so right now, if you give it a little bit of starting fluid, it'll crank over and then it runs. Um, when you get these older trucks with the mechanical fuel pump and they do that what that often means is that they have a hole somewhere in the fuel line so they lose prime um then you have to sit there and crank and crank and crank and crank for that mechanical fuel pump to draw fresh fuel through the fuel line past where it lost prime at um you'll sit there and run the battery dead this battery looks like it was due for a replacement a couple years ago anyway um 
but when the motor runs it actually sounds pretty healthy so what i would really like to do for this um new wheels and tires new brake lines if i can get stainless steel brake lines for this um i really like to do that just all new brake lines new soft lines new calipers um new wheel cylinders drums rotors all that all around new tires um and rebuild the car and if i could just do that and get, get this thing running well enough to drive it i'd like to drive it a little bit um so it seems like it's in pretty good shape it was kept as a driver um no ac no factory ac so nice clean firewall um this is kind of you know i never liked this color scheme it's one of the available two tones that were available in 79 from the factory now that i have it see it in person it looks a lot better in person than it does in pictures it's got the really cool upper and lower racetrack i think they call this but the bad part is almost every single piece has um pinches dents waviness now some of these real moderate ones like if you were able to clean the store up pop that dent out you could probably bring the trim out with this aluminum trim these sharp dents especially where it's buckled you're never going to get that out and i can't remember off the top of my head of all the trims that ford has reproduced if this one is currently reproduced either way the trim's getting expensive when it's in good shape whether it's factory or reproduction so anyway uh oh we got speakers back here is that a drill bit cool and <laughs> milwaukee uh milwaukee cobalt drill bit included here some nice speakers he gave me the uh he gave me the padded armrest that he got for this too i have it somewhere laying around gave me a little pile of extra parts so anyway i just wanted to show you guys this project here's here's that spare slot oh he said it had a bad tire these um these old slots you know you got to polish them and then you got to put like goop on them something like some kind of sealant to keep them looking good because this was kind of back before we had current wheel technology so they end up getting all corroded like that so maybe i'll get around to polishing them up i think they're 15s yeah 225 75 15s so <clears throat> what i really like to do I'd like to get brand new tires for this um, this truck, which I'm not sure if I posted the video to this yet or not. Um, it's got these nice winter tires in the back with good tread. Um, someone put really nice tires in the front too. Um, the guy said that they were new. They're clearly not new. They got some dry rotting and stuff on them, but they'd be good enough for a driver. Um, since I want to sell this and try and get decent money out of it, I'd like to get just brand new generic um, factory tires for it so i can say hey it's got new brakes new tires but i might put those tires on these slots and put them on this i don't know yet anyway i just want to show you guys this uh i'll probably be working on it more uh, i need to get the brake leak fixed first thing so as you know moving driving projects that stop on their own are much easier to deal with than ones that don't so but for now i'm working on some other stuff so you guys will see this coming up this may be the intro to a longer video or i may just go ahead and post this as a short video but um as always when you get something i'm excited so look for this up and coming all right guys um back again with the yellow truck got the tailgate open um the latch was stuck on one side and actually this side didn't want to move because i guess this like Whatever these are called. So their style was like rusted in place. I just soak it in WD-40. Anyway, um, a bunch of this. Some kind of like marble. It's mostly broken up in the bed. Just cleaning that up. But you can see this uh, this like thick, thick layer of crap. Looks like it's probably good potting soil or something very organic. But uh anyway the reason i turned the camera back on um i got a big jug of uh old brake fluid here and i got some starting fluid i want to try and top the brake fluid off fill our starting fluid up and see um starting fluid see if it'll run the brake fluid see if it'll have any brakes 
and if it's leaking, where it leaks. So, let's see here. I oiled these hinges too. They work much easier than before. You can see this is it lid isn't all the way snapped on. And got some rust flakes in here. But both front and rear reservoirs on that are completely bone dry. That is odd. Indicating a rather significant brake leak. So that shouldn't take too long to find. Ahead and top it off. So I don't use use brake fluid, but I'm doing a brake job anyway. But I always leave it around. And then you work on stuff like this. Just trying to find a brake leak or whatever. And uh, then you don't feel bad about it. this is gonna come spraying out of somewhere once I hop in there and push the brake pedal down, I'm sure. So we'll give her a shot of starting fluid. Maybe a couple shots. We'll see if she cranks. Tell she wants to go. I think uh, a little gas for the car might be more effective than starting for it. All right, I'm back. Got some gas from a gas can here. I give a splash down the carb. I'm trying to fill the bowl up, but I can't really see down in there. This car is done just there we go. It does doesn't idle down, it won't close all the way. I guess that's why. The car definitely needs a rebuild. There may be a vacuum leak. back up so I'm thinking it, it probably has a hole in the fuel line taking a while to prime that's why it doesn't want to start um, I don't know if there's gas in the fuel tank or not it says it's on E um, all right I don't know if you could hear me since so loud um, like there are multiple vacuum ports on this carburetor here there's one here that was capped that the rubber is just completely disintegrated on the cap from 
Oh, you don't want that clip to fall on your car. Um, there is this port here on the back that is this like cloth covered line. I don't even know what that is. Um, I hear trickling. Like a steady stream. Not sure what that is. Um, so we've got a bunch of stuff capped off back here. Probably old emission stuff. Um, you know, I don't even know where all the vacuum ports are on these, but that may be one of the reasons that it's it's uh, not one to idle. But I'm guessing as old and crusty as that carb is, this thing's been off the road for quite some time from the owner. Um, looks like it was last registered 2014. So I'd say it's a safe bet. Um, the carb hasn't been redone since then, so another carb that needs rebuilt and i hate rebuilding carbs but anyway um our brake pedal let's see our brake pedal should have pushed some of that fluid through and we should be seeing a pretty big brake leak somewhere for that to thing have no fluid in it it's starting to get dark out right now but i don't see anything do see I do see that I'm on my front tires now it's a 79 this thing came standard with discs and I think we found our leak so that must be the front that must be the front line not the rear uh, reservoir so this is our leak right here you see we've sprayed brake fluid um, to the top and the bottom of the the tire so, um, I can't tell exactly what's, what's leaking in here. We'll probably have to take that, take this tire off. But, uh, it could just be the brake line. Let's see here. It could just be that brake line. But... Based on where it's coming out, I'm wondering if it's the caliper itself. Um, you can see that our wetness stops right here and starts a little further up here. So, I don't know. I'm planning on replacing the lines and the calipers just because this thing has sat so long. But... I guess we'll be doing that. I guess we'll be doing that sooner rather than later. I think I'm going to order a stainless steel brake kit for this. And I'm um, going to start comparing prices. See if I can find a rotor caliper pad and line kit for it. Just replace all the braking components just for safety's sake. Seems like the master is working fine. I'm going to leave it for now. I'd like to do hydro boost on this if I'm going to end up driving it. But um, Cool. Well, we know it runs. Uh, it sounds the engine sounds healthy. He's just gonna need uh, a little bit of love in the carburetor department. Um, I'm not going for a restoration on this, so I'm probably just gonna try and delete that emission stuff, the EGR and all that. It just makes it so much easier to work on. You don't have those vacuum lines and all those leak potential problem sources. I know that's like the old dumb redneck way to do things, but. Um, you know, when you're the one trying to troubleshoot stuff, it's kind of a different story, so. <sighs> anyway, it's getting dark. Um, I gotta find dinner for the kids. So, I'm gonna sign this video off. Um, hopefully you will cut to me uh, finding the brake parts we need to make this thing move so that I can get it out of the driveway and clean out that bed. See you guys on the next video.